Hi, in this video I will show you how to add snow to our landscape and control it procedurally. So let's begin. In this video it will be first step to adding dynamic weather change. So we now can paint snow. Oops, let's go paint layer. Like that, right? But it means you paint it and that's it. So you release your game, you can change it. But it would be cool, for example, let's say it starts to snow and then snow builds up on the ground. So this is what I mean by dynamic. So we will create this functionality. Let's erase all that for the snow. And then in the future, I want to add uh, puddles as well. So let's select this one, this one, and that. Now scroll down to our material. There, where are you? Now it's there. Okay. So uh, it should be this one. Let's see. Yeah, white in here, so it's layer 5. So in layer 5, what we can add in here, where we have this slurping, and how slurping is working, just a reminder, so it's basically levels between two height maps. It's what's it's on the bottom and what's in this layer. And then this is our black and white mask. So where it's white, it means this uh, snow should be. Where it's black, it's basically bottom layer. So it means if we will add some additional uh, logic into this and add it into this transition phase, it will work already. So let's just create material function. We will just plug it here and make it work. So let's just click that to find material. Okay, it's here. And materials, advanced material function. Like feather control or something like that. I'm not sure. I think like I, I will be able to use this with uh, wetness as well. So that's why I'm not just calling it snow because uh, it should be like more reusable. Okay, so we have this, and it should work. So like uh, this is texture coordinates. Usually it's just for surfaces, and there is landscape coordinates. See, so like that but this one it should work still on the landscape as well and i'm planning in the future to add this functionality to the custom objects as well so for example if you would use custom props and again if it starts snowing and snow builds up not just only on the landscape but on the props as well which is pretty cool so like so we'll start with this one uh usually numbers pretty large for that because again, we're talking about landscape, it's pretty large numbers. So I will divide it by 100. Why 100? It's basically meter. Okay, and then I want texture. And for the texture, I need noise. And uh, let's see, I think this one should be fine. Yeah, and in here, always set it to something like wrap or clump. So in our case, it should tile, so it should be wrap, shared wrap. Then we will use red channel because it's a grayscale mask anyways and multiply it with so in here it will be our transition yeah from zero to one uh, but when I was testing like zero one never were close so but instead of using some remaps I know uh, I will just use um, intensity so I will multiply it by 30 again if you will have different textures um, and probably you will. So just try different numbers, right? Like, because whenever I'm always showing, it's basically you can always try different numbers. Um, why not? Um, this one should be scalar. And um, so why I'm creating this function input? It means I want to control this then parameter outside of this material function. So let's call it cover mask like it will cover a bottom layer like that 
and let's use default one and keep it on zero. So if nothing will be plugged in from outside, uh, so then it means it will always be on zero. Okay, is that? And then we need max. So this is separate from our this layer. Now we need to combine. We need to take this layer because what if you want manually paint in some areas, right? Because if we will use only that, if we will use only this, it means you won't be able to paint it. We want both things. So uh, actually, sorry, not multiply. I want max. Yeah, max. And now let's copy that input and rename it to just paint mask. Because that layer, like your painting mask. Okay, and let's set priority. So this one on zero. Yeah, I want it on the top and this one then one. So it will be on the bottom. And as well, I will keep it on zero. So it means it will be black by default. Okay, so is that. And then just let's saturate just in case and output. Okay, we can even expose to library if you want. Now let's come here and grab our this node. Yeah, we'll keep it on the result. Like you can name it, for example, is it result or maybe like a mask or something, but yeah. So now we can take this one into paint mask and this one connect uh, where that should go. So yeah, transition phase like that. And now we need for this. So for now, I will add just color parameter, but again, you can't control material even from the verse on the landscape. You can only control now material on the props, but landscape is not a prop. So we still will need to use uh, MPC, which is like material parameter collection and sequencer later on. But because I'm not yet setting this up, so in this video, I will just use scalar parameter. But again, you can control scalar parameter in the game. Just keep that in mind. So maybe snow amount. So this one should be like from zero to one, something like that. So let's save. And let's grab this material instance. And actually, I need to add it to the group because it will be out of the five group. Yeah, there is our snow amount. And now look, if I'm increasing number, uh, we have snow. Pretty nice. Now, for example, if it's one, so everything covered. If it's zero, it's not. So you can imagine. If that would be NPC file, you can add it to your sequencer and animate that. And just like that, that would work. And if going back into this material function, so as you can see, I'm not uh, controlling tiling in here. If you want control tiling, if you don't like how it looks, you definitely can. So you still divide it uh, by 100, but then you can add multiply in here and because it's just for testing so um i will call it maybe like snow tiling because i will remove it i don't want that but i will just show you so nothing you will see because it's still you multiplying by one so nothing changed but now see if you will increase you're basically creating more tiling for that so more repetition in the mask or lower you go, it's less repetition. But keep in mind, closer to zero, it will start um, look not so good because like pixelation uh, resolution, but like like even here, 0 0.5, it still look pretty good. Like, yeah, but again, as I said, like, I don't want that. I'm happy with default result. I will keep it. And just like that. So um, this one is working. So again, uh, we can lower uh, that amount. And still, if I will go to landscape and paint and select my uh, this uh, snow paint, as you can see, I still can paint. And I can paint, for example, together with this automatic layer. 
But keep in mind, if I will start erasing, as you can see, I'm erasing only what I painted, but I can't erase what uh, comes from the mask. So it's not uh, like perfect control, but um, then we're not overcomplicating our material still because everything has a cost, right? Just like that. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying this. And uh, as I said, like I'm planning improving and adding more and more to this and just even make it fully like a weather system or something like that. We'll see. And okay, have fun. I would like to say thank you to my all supporters. I appreciate your support. Thank you for your generosity. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you're interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, you can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header.